there's someone whose name is Dusty here. That would be you. Yes. You are the plaintiff's wife? Yes. Are you together? Not at this moment, no. And you are appearing as a witness for him? Yes. Interesting. Now, Mr. Barnes, you lived with your wife in a rental property that is owned by the defendant. Yes, ma'am. Your wife's name was on the lease. Your name is not on the lease. Yes. The defendant knew you were there. Is that correct? That's not correct. Oh, that's not true. Then your counterclaim is dismissed because your counterclaim is that he was supposed to fix a shed for you. You paid him to fix the shed. He never fixed the shed and the, the materials disappeared. Well, why would you pay? I mean, he was just a maintenance guy that was around. So you knew he was living there. Yes. So why did you say no? It's been a rocky relationship and they split up a number of times. That's okay. But you yeah. knew he was living I there. I did know. Yes. Okay. And you knew he had been living there for a long period of time, as long as Dusty has lived there? No. How long was Mr. Barnes living there? When I did you move in, Mr. Barnes? October 19th of 2015. And on what date did you change the locks? November 9th, 2016. You can't do that. So his lawsuit is for an illegal eviction and for some property that he claims was lost somehow. You have a counterclaim. Your counterclaim is some damage that was done to the house by this person who you first said that you didn't know was living there. And something that has to do with this shed that he was supposed to build for you. Okay. What I find is curious. Did you bring him today? We flew together. Because the story is a rather convoluted one. According to Ms. Howell, you advised Ms. Howell that you and the defendant were once again off again. You were leaving. Is that right? Yes. I could stand up over there. When did you tell her you were leaving? It was like in November, a little after November. And when was Mr. Barnes, the last night that Mr. Barnes stayed at the house? I have no idea um, what, what was the last night. What was the last night you stayed at the house? Um, it was like November 10th, somewhere in the, a little over the first week. I'm not sure of the date either. Well, she changed the locks November 9th, so it had to be before. Yeah, it was two days after, um, she, after Dusty left. Um, it was two days that Miss Howell came over there and changed the locks. And you left in November? Yes. Had you paid November's rent? Yes. Who paid it? M um, my name is on the receipts. Who paid it? She did. How much was it? Five seventy-five. Mr. Barnes, who gave Miss Howell the rent? Uh, Miss Howell is at the office when we go to pay the rent. We both went in there and we paid the rent. I got receipts. And it was accepted? Yes. Why did you change the locks? Because I got text messages to show you that Dusty had moved out and that Harold had changed the locks on the house and that um, she had turned off oh, the... Oh, okay. Just a second. So you show me where she said that Harold had changed the locks on the house. Did you change the locks on no, the house? No, ma'am. I did not. So show me. Did you tell her that Harold had changed the locks on the house? No. I'd like to see that. Ma'am, the only, only locks that I... Um, I put locks on the shed, I put a door on there, and I put a paddle lock and a locked um, a door handle one with that had a key to it also. But I didn't change no locks on the residence whatsoever. Hmm. What locks were you talking about? You say you went to get the things that he has changed the locks. Did that have to do with the locks on the residence? The house? The door lock from the house were put onto the shed, and then they went and got new um, locks for the house. What kind of lock? You mean a, a the, like a regular door, the front door lock? The question is, were you able to get into the house to get your things? Yes, I was. So what did you say to her that you went back to the house to get your things, but he went and changed the locks? What does that mean? He had changed the locks. Um, and when my daughter and I went to get my things, he had changed the locks. That's what he said at the time. Just a minute. Did you go there? Or did he tell you he changed the locks? And he told me that he changed the locks. Did you go there? Yes. Were the locks changed? Yes. So you couldn't get in? As, as far as I knew. It doesn't really make any difference. You knew he was there. You would accept it as rent. You had no right to evict him. That's what he's suing for, an illegal eviction. Okay. Well... You know that you have no rights. Is this your only rental property? No.